Chapter 8. Is China on the world research and development map? That's a big question. And the answer is, in fact, very simple. Yes, yes, it is. It is now on the world IMD map. But if you go back 10 years ago, it was not. So in less than 10 years, things have changed dramatically. Dramatic. Why? Because China has invested a lot of energy, a lot of resources to foster this development of the national system of innovation. So, just have a look at what we need to have a, a, a good uh, national system of innovation. Uh, you need good universities. China, they have a lot of universities. Most of those universities are directed toward teaching. But an increasing number, which is still limited, but an increasing number of universities in China are moving on the research side. Same thing for public labs. So we have now in China some very good universities doing research. We have public labs. We have as well some science parks. I mean, just to quote a few examples, in Shanghai, you have Zhangjie. Zhangjian High Tech Park, which is a place, a wonderful place for companies which are interested by pharmaceutical industry. In Beijing, you have this Zhongguansun, Zhongguansun Park, I mean, which is something which is doing extremely well uh, regarding the IT business. And just to mention about this, Microsoft has decided to headquarter its own research and development facilities exactly at this place in, in Zhongguansun. So we have universities, we have public lab, we have science park, and we have Chinese companies which are, which are investing in r and I mean, just to quote a few names, higher, higher for what? For refrigerator? Yes, for this industry, they are investing in r and I mean, think also about Sanyi, Sanyi, which is the, the Chinese caterpillar. They are making huge investment in innovation. So R&D is also part of the picture for a company like Sanyi. Same thing for Huawei. For sure now, most of the people around the world, they have heard of that, about Huawei. So Huawei is another example of a company which is investing a lot of resources in R&D. Just another example, BYD. BYD is a car manufacturer. BYD, build your dream. Uh, the dream of uh, BYD is very simple. It's to, to be the king of, uh, uh, of the electric car. And to do so, they are investing a lot in R&D. And at the same time, so you have Chinese companies which are investing in R&D. And at the same time, you have also foreign companies which have now decided to have their own R&D center in China. And I mean, I'm not going to make a list because it would be too long, but I mean, let's say that almost all the big companies, the big multinationals, they have decided to have this R&D center uh, in, in, in China. For marketing reason, in order to adapt their technology, okay, they take technology which were developed in the US, in Europe, in Japan, in South Korea, and then they adapt those technology to, to local needs. But not only for that, you have an increasing number of foreign companies which have decided to set up an R&D center in China, not only for marketing, but also to gain access to this local knowledge which is developed by universities and public research centers in China. So yes, the answer is definitively yes, China is now on the R&D map.